the rocket setbacks, JPL produced for the Army a self-satirizing film called The Corporal Story. The Army brass laughed at the film, but they continued to press to have the corporal deployed. Matters weren't helped by a list of growing requirements. Better accuracy was demanded under all kinds of weather conditions. Though originally envisioned as carrying an atomic warhead, the option of biological or chemical payloads was also tested. The complications of launching a corporal from White Sands paled in comparison with a launch attempt in the field. The toxic nature of the fuel made for hazardous conditions for the missile crew, even in a non-combat environment. The training of crews revealed that getting into firing position required as much as four hours of preparation, to say nothing of an entourage of trucks, equipment, and personnel that on an open road often stretched for more than a dozen miles. Once designed, the production line was turned over to industrial contractors. More than a thousand corporals would be built. With a reliability rating of only 60%, the corporal rushed into the field in 1955. Though marginal as a weapon system, the presence of the rocket was hoped to be a psychological deterrent, as the nuclear warhead the corporal carried was three times more powerful than the bombs dropped on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. By the mid-1950s, JPL had tripled in size. The work was serious and intense, but JPLers played just as hard. Think of a sport, any sport, and more than likely, J